back behind the velvet rope. We can. It's just a phone call. Should we get the juicer back? Check in with the juicer. Um, so love seeing him. Now we learn that Paulie is still married and Dolores says, I don't know about the future with you anymore. i to be honest, I don't care about this story. No offense to anyone. I don't care. I'm bored. I don't care if Paulie's not married. Dolores is not going to leave Paulie. I'm sorry. I'm being honest. Sorry, Dolores. I mean, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. Why should I sit here and come after the Sarge? Dolores is exempt from my criticism. I don't think so, Dolo. I don't think so. Loanne de Lesseps, I will never say anything bad about. She's an actual friend that I speak to regularly. Anna Kinkosis. Ebony K. Williams. Sorry, these are actual real friends that I text, that I have dinner with, that I see. Luann has been so good to this show. I mean, Luann's just a class act. Um, Dolores ain't exempt. So um, I don't care. I You're still not picking a side. I don't know how you get away with that. I guess we need the Greek chorus. We, I get it. Crystal Kong Mankoff from Beverly Hills. But I'm bored. I'm bored of the right down the middle, Dolores. And I don't care if Polly is still married because there, I said it, you are one of those women that just seems to need a man. And I, it's not my, it's not my speed. Lala Kent doesn't. Katie Maloney doesn't. But here's the good news for Dolores. Lots of other housewives. Shannon Bador, apparently she's working on herself. Alexis Bellino, she's engaged. She loses her mother, which could change a person. Losing a parent changes a person. Next thing you know, she's broken up, dating John Jensen, Alexis, Shannon. You're not alone, Dolores. There's a lot of housewives that just can't seem to stand on their own two feet. I mean, I guess Gunvalson will have to throw you in there. I don't, it's not my scene, no judgment, but... I, I ride solo over here. Now we learn the Sarge. Do you guys know my friend the Sarge? Marge the Sarge. She's turning Lexi. Hi, Lexerita. She's turning that Lexi into like a clone of hers. Anyone else think Lexi is looking more and more like the Sarge every day? Man. But the Sarge apparently has this storyline that her marriage was better off when Jan was alive and she has troubles with Joe. I mean, does anybody out there listening to this? Anybody? How about the people in the back row? Hi, Jim Leonard, Teresa's lawyer. He listens. Come on. Sarge, the Sarge should just call in. By the way, Sarge, if you ever want to call into the show, we'd love to have you. I'd have nothing against you, Sarge. I really don't. She's not running her life over there in Englewood, New Jersey. But does anyone believe the Sarge is having problems with Joe? I mean, Joe is just... I mean, here I am criticizing all these women that can't live without men. Joe and Tom Schwartz, you know, Schwartzy. Joe and Tom Schwartz should go and just compare and see who has the smaller fucking dick, okay? Because I bet you it's a... Tight contest between Schwartz and Joe Benigno as far as who has the smaller dick. So let me break it to everyone who's watching the new season of R.A. Joe and Jay. And by the way, why am I all around out today? Joe Benigno ain't leaving Marge the Sarge at all. Now, I know her house is basically done because she's prancing around page six. By the way, I've said this before. I bought a new apartment on Central Park. I have a gorgeous view of Central Park and I don't give a fuck. I am going to Melissa Gorga it. We're doing it before and we're doing it after. Okay. I bought my Hamptons place fully furnished. Love it. It's not my style. This apartment in New York is actually going to be the death of me. I told my designers today to basically go fuck themselves. I told the building I live in that it's the worst fucking building that I've lived in ever in my life. It's a hotel, but I have a view of Central Park. So I'm going to do a before and after because if Margaret can do it and Gorga can do it, I'm going to do it too. God, I sound so immature today. But now that the house is finished, I understand Marge has no more use for Joe, but she ain't leaving him and he ain't leaving her. So I don't know why this fake fucking storyline is even out there. But it gives the Sarge a some storyline, right? 
Messler, Messler, Messler says she doesn't want to associate. Then we have curlers in and she says the Maj, the Saj, Jackie Judas, Jackie Judas Goldschneider. Best line of the whole trailer. That Maj, the husband's in the pool, monkey's asshole. Look, the Maj comes up with some good liners. That's why she's still here. What season is the Saj in? She's probably making like 800 grand. You know what I mean? Feel it's none of our fucking business, according to Kyle Richards. For 1.2 million dollars a year, it's none of our fucking business. Um, it's actually the job definition of being on a reality show is our business. Kyle Richards, Mauricio, she's got a lot to say that Mauricio lately. So Jackie Judas Goldschneider, besides the Messler, this is the second thing I find the most interesting that Jackie is now going with Teresa. Margaret says, you know, do you want me to tell Teresa all the things she said about you? I, I don't like when this happens. We all have that. That's why I've said this before. Everyone that I've texted or DM'd, first of all, I'm not an idiot. Anything I say to you, I know will be used against me. And second of all, Use it, use it and abuse it. Take every text I ever sent you, blah, 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 um, and put it out into the world because I don't care. I'm not afraid. Guys, when you don't care, when you aren't living your life to make Teresa happy, Melissa, is Melissa Gorga happy with me today? I don't care. See, that's the difference with a friend. If Ebony had a problem with something I said, which she never had, she would call me and we would talk it out. We wouldn't demand anything. So when you just don't care, you just live your life. So I don't know how I got on that statement, but my point is the fact that Jackie is like, I'll be friends with whoever I want. Love it. I find that interesting. And I would like to know more about what happened between the Saj and Jackie. I'd like that. Um... So she be friends with whoever she wants. Well, guess what, Jackie Goldschneider? I get it. I'm going to be friends with whoever I want. My point also was take any text, you know, when Margaret says, do you want to know everything you said about Teresa? Well, yeah, she hated Teresa. Teresa said stuff about her. So I don't like this, like, do you want me to reveal everything the person said about you? I mean, what was, you know, like, what was that shit that just like resurfaced some people that are apparently supposed to like Teresa? Something leaked or something where they called her dumb and I mean, I just take anything I've ever said and release it. I don't care. Really, I don't care. It's, oh, you got me. No one's going to stop listening. And if one person stops listening, two more people stop listening, started listening. So stop it. Stop wasting my time. I don't care. This is why people really don't fuck with me because it's a true nothing burger if you do. Clap, 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 clap at me. Now I'll punch up. I'll punch up to the Tam rat when she talks about me. I'll punch up. I was just mentioned on Jeff Lewis for my interview with Stu. Jeff Lewis mentioned my podcast and my name. I'll punch up, but I ain't punching anywhere else. Who cares? It's funny. We have this scene. Melissa Gorga says, you have a hard arm for my husband. Jennifer says, it's more like a limp dick. That Jennifer 